we're going to start out this video with a rant. I'm going to complain about something. But before we start, the purpose of this video is I'm going to make, I had to, my daughter and her, my son-in-law Travis wanted to make a uh, raised bed for gardening. And so uh, the raised bed was going to be uh, six by four and about 10 inches tall. So we could put a little garden bed out. The materials for it, and I needed two two befores eight feet long, two two befores 12 feet long, and three pieces of two feet wide by three foot long corrugated galvanized metal that I'd seen in the, in the store that I liked. I checked on YouTube and I found a plan that I kind of liked the looks of, the way it used the metal and the wood together. I thought it would be lighter weight. It, I thought it would be less expensive and I thought it, I liked the looks of it. So it would take four pieces of roof flashing that were bent into a 90 degree angle and then some different screws and stuff like that. So I had my material list here on my uh, handy notepad, of course, and uh, put that in there to go get the materials. I went to the place right across the road. I'm not going to say the name of it, but it was, uh, I was wanting to save big money. So I went to that place. That's such a big store that I can't walk back to, to get a board. You have to go to their board counter, which is then located in the very back right-hand corner of the store. So I have to use their little electric mobility scooter to get from one end of the store to the other. They've got two there. One of them's got a flat spot on the tire and it goes ka-thump, ka-thump, ka-thump as you're driving along. I guess it's to draw more attention to you that, so that people in the store shopping can look and see you. But I get on, they've got two there. I get on one of them. Luckily, I didn't get the one with the flat spot on the wheel. I drove to the back of the store there wasn't anybody working at any of those counters. So I finally found somebody working. They came up and waited on me. What do you want? And I, well, I got two two fours treated. I use treated lumber, but this is gonna be lined with the galvanized metal. So none of the dirt will be touching the treated. And I wanted it to hold up a little longer. So I, we went with the treated metal for the treated lumber. So I ordered the boards. Now then, uh, where's the metal? Well, I found the pieces of metal. They were on the shelf in the store. So I got these three foot long pieces of metal and I folded them so they'd fit in the basket of my mobility scooter. And I leaned them so I could just barely see over the top and I drive to the checkout. The, the person that, the, that sold the lumber, they gave me a receipt, a ticket, said you'll have to go back and around the back to pick up the lumber. So I go to the checkout and I check out with my metal and my box of screws. And uh, then I go out to the truck and I get in the truck and I drive around the end of the building to go in. Well, it'd been a while since I'd been there and they'd remodeled. And now there were two lanes to drive into the yard. So I think, and there's this little booth in the middle where there's somebody working that, they, that, that checks your ticket to let you go in and out. So I think, well, I'll go up to the one next to the booth there. I pulled in there. The girl comes out. I said, I've got a ticket here. I need to get a couple pieces of wood. She says, you're in the wrong lane, sir. You'll have to back out and pull in that lane over there. And then you take your receipt and you hold it up to the box and scan it. And then that'll open the bar and let you into the yard to get your boards. So I backed out, went in the other one scanned my piece, it opened up the gate, I went in. I go in there and there's a big green barn there, big door on it. There's a guy standing at the in entrance to the door. He said, what do you need? And I said, I need two befores treated, eight foot and 12 feet. Oh, okay, come in here, drive your truck, follow me. He walks along, we go about down halfway into the building and he stops at this pile of dimension lumber that's not treated. He said, how many two befores did you want? And I said, I want treated. Oh, he said, I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. They're back there by the door, back up. So I backed up to the door where I came in again through the building. And he said, now, what do you want? I said, I want two two befores, eight feet long, treated. He said, oh, they're out here in the yard. Keep backing up. So I backed up away, follow me. I backed up about halfway across the yard and there was a pile of boards. Two befores, eight feet long, treated. He put it in the truck. 
He said, what else do you need? I said, I need two two before 12 feet long treated. He said, oh, those are back in the building over there where you were. Follow me. I drove back over to the building and I parked in front of it. He got the two treated boards, put them in the back. He said, that all you need? And I said, that's it, that's, I've got it. So I drove over back to the little gatehouse with the helpful woman that told me I was in the wrong lane before. This time going out, there's only one lane. And so uh, I was in the right one this time. She gets my ticket, goes around, counts the boards, four boards, yeah. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you for shopping with us. I don't know how people do it. If I was working as a, on a job where I was getting paying myself by the hour and I didn't have a lot of time to be messing around buying materials, I wouldn't put up with that. I would not go there. I would go someplace where they had the places that were a little handier to get to. Uh, if you're watching this and you own that business, man, why don't you fix that? Who wants to be treated like that? All right, so now we're gonna go on with our build. I brought the two befores home. I wanted to make, it, it, what this consists of is a frame. There's made out of two by twos, six feet by four feet. I mitered the corners on them. We put the bottom piece down to bottom, top piece there. I put at the corners, I put the metal flashing as a corner at an angle and screwed that to the frame that held the top that separated them. Then we put our galvanized inside of it, lined it with galvanized inside of it. And then we put a two by four frame on the very top to make a little ledge to seat. And it also covered up that sharp piece of galvanized that was on the top. So we took a bunch of pictures as we went through the construction and the rest of the video will show that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. So I took the four two befores. I took one of the eight foot ones, cut it in half, made four foot boards. Took a 12 foot one, cut it in half and made six foot boards. Uh, I mitered the ends of uh, some of the two befores. Then I ripped the others into two by twos and mitered those ends. So I came up with uh, two boxes of two by twos, four by six, and one box of a two by four that was four by six for the top edge. The metal was three feet long, and so I decided that if I made nine inch pieces, I could get four pieces out of each one. So I marked that off, and I took the angle grinder and cut these to size. We built it upside down, so we started out with the top ledge. It was two by fours that were mitered, and so we uh, screwed those together, laying on the sawhorses, kind of like, uh, like you see in this picture. Next, we took the two by twos, put them on top of the, of the four before, or two by fours, and we uh, screwed together our second frame. This picture it shows one of the two by two frames on top of the <coughs> two by four cap frame, and uh, we will finally wind up screwing that to the two by four so that all the screws come in from the bottom, and we don't have any screw holes left on the top to see. To, to make a uh, little dent to hold water and to be seen. The next step is pictured here. We took the uh, angle, the, the aluminum roof flashing that was bent at a 90 degree angle, and we screwed them into the corner. That fit up really nice against that top two before ledge, and so then we just set them on each corner, screwed them on all four corners. Then we fastened what will later be the bottom. We held it up to the end of the aluminum roof flashing and we screwed that on to it just to, well, separate the top from the bottom. Set it up on edge to, and laid out the uh, corrugated galvanized metal to go on the inside of it. And we fastened that on there with self-tapping screws. Here you see I had to really bear down on this screw to put it in. My uh, help later showed me that the drill was running in reverse, so that's why it was so hard to screw in. But we got it done. From here it was just a simple matter of putting the galvanized in, screwing it down. We'd flip the box onto the next side, 
and continued to add the galvanize as we went till we had all four sides in. To finish up the top and that little seat area, we took a half inch uh, rounding over bit in the router and we rounded off all the top edges all the way around it so that it would be a little nicer looking and a little more comfortable. And there's a close-up picture of the finished edge. You can see that it would be handy to set on smoother. I think it looks a lot better. Here's the finished box setting out in the yard. I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'd like to have one of these to grow a green bean crop in this year. I had to get myself in the picture, giving it the final inspection just so you could have a look at it. Uh, I approve. Here it is loaded up in the truck, ready to go home. And if you're wondering, the total cost for the metal and the, and the two befores was around $93. Well, I was happy with the way that thing turned out. I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching the video. I thank God for giving me another day out here in the shop to work and do things for, just make things for the fun of it. It's, it's, this is what I live for, just being out here working. And he gave me a beautiful sunshiny day. I think we're gonna find springtime. It's, I think today's the, the first day of spring, but it's, the flowers are beginning to bloom and things are greening up. And so how could you not praise God on a day like this? I hope he's with you. I hope you're walking with him. Man, I, I, I hope you have a good day. That's it for today. Thank you.